What's going on, guys? Sun's coming up right now. It is, let me show you, 20 after 7 a.m. Been up for about 30, 40 minutes so far. Um, and you might ask yourself, I mean, what's a guy who, you know, doesn't have a boss, you know, job to go into in the morning, um, who works for himself at home? What am I doing up uh, before 7 a.m. in the morning? Well, let me tell you, uh, you may or may not know, depending if you follow me or not, uh, we had a new baby boy a couple months ago. And, uh, you know, if, if you've had kids before, you know that inevitably that's going to disrupt your routine a little bit, which is uh, which is okay. It's part of the deal, right? Um, but so because of that, I kind of, you know, we're losing sleep in the nights, you know, at first uh, with the new baby. And so I start, you know, sleeping in uh, if I can uh, or just grabbing any extra sleep I can um, and just kind of put my normal daily routine aside for a while. And uh, to be honest, even before that, I was kind of sliding off my daily routine as feeling, you know, a little bit tired, a little bit burnt out and just kind of started snoozing my alarm or not setting an alarm and just kind of getting up whenever my uh, my older child gets up, uh, usually around eight. So uh, anyway, yeah, so we let I let the routine slide and, you know, three, four weeks, maybe a little more go by and I'm just getting frustrated because of feeling like super low energy every day. Um, you know, just waking up feeling tired, um, just wanting to lay in bed more. Um, getting to the afternoon and just like feeling like I have to take a nap, just like completely um, just out of energy and for no reason because, you know, after the first few weeks, you know, we're getting good sleep. Um, so, you know, you might think kind of the logical answer that we might have is, you know, I need more sleep. I need to go to bed earlier and have naps and uh, sleep in longer, you know, but, you know, actually what I had been doing for probably the past year before this is waking up earlier and having the same routine every morning. Um, so in order to try to get back to that place and just get over this constant being tired and just kind of lack of energy and, and motivation, honestly, I decided to go back to, to that because that worked really well for me before. So, um, Basically, here's here's the routine now, um, and this is I had this a year ago, and like I said, I just let it slide, and I was just struggling, um, and uh, now I'm getting back into it. It's been a couple of weeks, and I love it again. So, um, you know, I wake up between you know 6:30 and 7 a.m. Um, right now, uh, I'm trying to inch it downwards. So I started setting my alarm for you know quarter after seven, and then now it's back down to about uh, 6:40. Get up, have a quick shower, come downstairs grab an espresso, and then sit down with a book. So that's pretty much my routine. And the odd day, I'll, I'll actually, instead of reading, I'll actually um, I'll actually write a little bit. You know, if I've got lots of ideas in my head or something, I'll just try to get it out. But usually it's reading, and that fills my head with new ideas for the day. And I just I just love uh, reading books. So um, it just it fires me up for the day. It, it puts me in a good mental state. And also just I'm... I'm kind of an introvert. I'm a little wired to want time, you know, just with myself and my own thoughts and everything. So I love, you know, one of my favorite things is just getting up an hour or more before everyone else in the house and just having this time right now just to, you know, just to think about what I want to accomplish today, you know, my goals, my priorities. And then, like I said, um, spend about 30, 40 uh, minutes or, or longer uh, reading a book. So um, it, it's it's crazy the effect this has because you'd think I'd be more tired in the day, but actually um, even on nights or maybe we get woken up in the night uh, or, you know, we end, we even a couple days ago we had a birthday party here and so we were up pretty late and uh, I still just set my alarm for the same time the next day even though it was significantly less sleep, but I woke up feeling great and feeling great through the whole day as well. And I think that just having that routine and that, you know, getting up at the same time every day, uh, doing the things that inspire you. So for me, like I said, it's sitting down and reading a book for a half hour. 
and having a, a really good cup of coffee or cappuccino or something, those things I love. So that's what I do. That's what puts me in a great state of mind for the day and just sets me up to be in a great mood and ready to work hard as well and, and ready to spend quality time with people. Um, <clears throat> sorry. But yeah, maybe for you it's something different. Maybe it's like journaling. I know a lot of people do meditation um, or a combination of all these things or going to work out. <clears throat> that's, uh, that's something that lots of people like to get up early for as well. Um, but I'm going to be honest, this is, is probably one of the most powerful things I've implemented in the last couple of years, uh, especially going from, like I said, being like a music guy, studio guy, I don't have to report anywhere for work. So for much of my, much of the last 10 years, you know, I would sleep until the last possible second. And then obviously I had kids, so um, that you start waking up early, you have to because of that. But it's always like, you know, you're lying in bed and then, you know, your, your child's waking up. It's like, all right, you know, I got to get up. Versus, you know, finding the things, finding a routine in the morning that you love, that you look forward to every day. Like, I honestly look forward to getting up earlier, having my coffee, reading the book, having this quiet space for an hour. Uh, I, I look forward to that. When my alarm goes off, I jump out of bed because I'm like, you know, well, I'll be honest, I don't always jump out of bed. I shouldn't say that. You know, usually it takes me a few minutes to really wake up, but, um, you know, I get out of bed knowing like this is going to be worth it and you know, I never ever regret it. I only regret if I hit the snooze button or if I just turn off the alarm and go back to bed because I'm feeling sorry for myself because I didn't get as much sleep. Um, those are the days where, you know, after a couple hours in the morning, I'm like, oh man, I wish I just got up here. And, um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you're, if you're feeling low energy or you're struggling to get stuff done, um, by the way, a huge part of this is um, I'm kind of breaking my own rules right now to make this video for you, but usually uh, my phone stays upstairs during the morning. Um, uh, so I come, my, I, I wake up, I come down, and it's, it's like I said, reading and everything and, and just quiet, and uh, I don't look at my phone or emails or anything for, um, for at least like the first hour or two of my day. So definitely this time right now, I just spent like 20 minutes reading the book before I uh, popped on this video I and mean, I've been wanting to share this with you guys for a while. So that's why I'm breaking the rules and bringing my phone down today. Um, but normally the phone stays upstairs. I don't look at emails or Twitter. Like so many people start their day with uh, by looking at um, email or social media or um, stuff like that. And it's like the worst, worst, worst thing you can do because now... Um, you're starting your day with someone else's thoughts and someone else's agenda. You know, if you're email, especially if you wake up and check, you know, roll over in your bed and check your email or your text messages. I mean, that's horrible because what if people are asking you questions and this and that, and then your whole day is focused on someone else's issues and someone else's agenda. Um, so that's not what you want. You want to set up your day exactly the way that you need it to be, that you need it to start. You need to have your goals, your priorities, the first thing in your mind and all of that stuff can come later. So there's some tips for you guys. Figure out what routine works for you. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. Um, like I said, maybe it's journaling, exercise, meditation, something like that. But I challenge you, you know, start trying to wake up a little, a little extra early, even if it's just 20 minutes to start and, uh, you know, just figure out, just kind of follow, your sense of what you want to do. I mean, I looked at so many other um, people's morning routines um, with all these things like meditation and all that, and it's just, I tried some of that stuff and it just didn't make me feel energized. So uh, I just thought, you know what? You know what I would love to do is just have a good cup of coffee and read a book. And that's what makes me feel best in the morning right now. So that's what I do. So figure out what it is for you. Uh, and, and like I said, I challenge you, 20, 20 or 30 minutes early, that's, honestly, what's the difference if you lose, let's say, 25 minutes of sleep um, every day for the next week? I guarantee you that actually the benefits of that are going to far outweigh that sleep and you start to change your mindset around it and everything. So start to do that. It's going to be really hard for the first few days, 
but then after about a week, you're gonna start feeling the benefits. And then after a couple of weeks, it's gonna be like, you can't live without this. I mean, I, I even do this most, most weekends now. I still wake up at the same time because I just know I'm gonna feel way better through the whole day. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope, uh, hope that's helpful for you. Uh, I know it's definitely a lot different than uh, mixing recording tips that I normally put out, but uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna talk about things uh, that are bigger and affect your whole life. So uh, give me a like or a comment on this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know uh, what your morning routine is or what you are gonna make it uh, after watching this and uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, I'm going back to uh, back to the book. Thanks, guys.